second piece of this, and this one has more to do with what your opinions are and where you want me to head with this as we continue to talk, but um, earlier you got a job description, and it had to do with the shared position of buildings and grounds. Um, you've got the shared job description, and you can notice that one of the things that had been suggested is that we add a chemical applicator license to the ground supervisor if, in fact, we proceed with this, uh, this piece of information. And then you had also asked about what salaries look like for those people. Um, Steve Newtsman's uh, salary at 52 hours per week and his regular hourly rate are listed on the back of that page as well as Bruce's. And that was the next piece of information that you'd requested that's included here. And um, these positions are eligible for those shared dollars. That doesn't mean we do it. It just would be one of those things that you need to know that's an option or a possibility. And it would fall into the time frame along with, um, there's a five-year time period or a five-year window, and we would be starting year three if next school year we implemented or you decided and it agreed that you wanted to do something like this. So it would be at the 60% funding rate. It's interesting that, you know, because I looked into this quite a bit and I called around from different schools and to find out what they're doing. And the comment that I got out of Jefferson was that they're dealing with economics too. And they're very concerned about that. And they, what they did is they took the transportation buildings and grounds and put it all together and uh, said they threw it under one label just because of economics. And so uh, now after it'll listen to your situation on economics for next year. Well, you wouldn't be proposing this to us probably if there wasn't a, a dollar. No, I would I mean, right, I mean, I'm guessing, right? And there's two things. Number one, I wouldn't propose it unless there were that sh those shared dollars. Uh -huh. And then I'd hate for us later, you go, geez, you never yeah. gave me any right. info about it. Um, and so thus, I visited with those two guys, asked them about a, a position and what it might look like. Um, what it looks like the, to WLVA is five more kids. Right, John? They're both willing to do that. I mean, they are. I talked to Bruce a little bit about it. Do you think he's fine with it? Yeah, they are. Uh, if it's something that doesn't work out, like you said, we're in the third year of it now, or whatever the funding, can we get out of it? Out of it and Absolutely. Not, I mean, just we, have to do, we have to do the year's worth, and yeah. then we decide. We have to do the year's worth, okay. and if you looked at it at the end of the year, we all didn't say, wow, was that a mistake, <coughs> or that made no sense. Absolutely, we're done. So, no, there's no no problem with backing back out of it. <coughs> if they're willing to look at something and put it together, I'm fine with it. Is this going to reduce the amount of overtime? I don't know that. Uh, the amount of overtime um, you could reduce simply in salary or in, in the contracts when we get to classified contracts um, if you want to do it that way. Um, I don't know that I can tell you that this would reduce overtime. But we have limited overtime. <coughs> the person you're talking of overtime is he's working 52 hours a week. Okay. Which but is what his contract says. But last contract. year, what we were looking at it was more than that. Yes. Okay. Got it. More light. <laughs> and there's light. <laughs> I think we have to try it. I mean, yeah. yeah. Do you like your chance to share and get sharing dollars? I think that we've looked at it real seriously and tried to take advantage of that. Um, to me, this is another one of those, and it might not work at all. But if there's an opportunity there to, to, you know, combine some of these things and get sharing dollars, I think it's hard for me not to find a real strong reason not to at least try it. I just have a question. How do you contract for 52 hours with one? And how many janitor positions do you have here with WL? We have four and a half. And counting maintenance. Yeah. And we have how many in staff? Four. Does he get 12 hours of overtime every week then? Yes. So that would be time and a half? Mm -hmm. He probably gets more than 12 hours of overtime, but he can't charge for more than 12 hours. Maybe 
you need four and three quarters and not pay the overtime. <laughs> I don't know. I'd entertain a motion from the WLBA board concerning this matter. I'll make a motion uh, that we go with this building and grounds uh, shared position and then that we can we put a date on it to look back and review it and see how it's going? When would you say? Review it annually? Yeah. Should we put a review date? Yeah. And then should we have first review what? Next I April or what? Sure. I'd say March or April because yeah. we're talking about a July 1 to June 30th. Yeah. Yep. So if we took a look in March or April, which is yep. about contract time. Yep. Yep. So. Yep. And, then, and, and the best guess would be that this may um, get 60% of maybe 10 students? Mm -hmm. For each district. For each district. So, so Doug, did you, were you guys talking about amount of money that it would generate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's about 60%. The, the 10 students are going to be just about $6,000 in state aid, okay? And it will be 60% of that amount. So it will be about $36,000 per district. For how many years? Or For, well, it will well, be. We don't it's a reducer. Year. And then the next year. Then it will be 40% of that and then 20% of that. So if we take a look at that and take a look at how much, how you have a lot of shit on the floor. That's right. Well, so like it'd be, the best guess would be like, it'd be decreasing 36, 24, 12. Okay. Yeah. Put that yeah. kind of like the well, second second John's motion. Yeah, I'll second it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Over three years, that would be about $72,000 per district, I, I'm guessing, mm -hmm. right in that mm -hmm. neighborhood. Any further discussion before we move on to the Favor say aye. 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 Opposed say. Motion carries. I'll make the same motion for the side board. I guess I'd just like to voice some concern before we vote. And that is that under the sharing agreement, the side board would be assuming some of the uh, guaranteed overtime of one of their employees. We would be paying about 46 percent or 47 percent of that overtime. I guess I don't know the history of why there's 12 hours of guaranteed overtime every week, but uh, I do have a concern with that. I guess I'd add to voice the same concern. <laughs> We're like, wait a minute, <laughs> what do we do with the overtime? We don't know the history, so that's a fair concern. Yes. Um, I got so many negative calls on this these two. I, I can't even I can't even vote on it. It's just I can't. All right, sorry. It's just well, there's no second. You don't have to vote on it. I guess my uh, just my thought process is since I don't know any of the background of this is have we approved the are, are they on what's the non contracts. The classified, yeah. classified contracts have not been approved and they are not in the board packet for tonight for either district. So if you're thinking about either one of the two individuals we're talking about, um, classified contracts, I would assume will, will be in June. Um, now the licensed contract, because there's going to be a ratification of the master contract by Wallach Auburn, I'm assuming tonight, then their Schedule A and Schedule B contracts will be approved, but no classified staff contracts are in here. Would it be smarter to, to put him back to 40 hours and give your halftime person the additional 12? Or is that, I don't even know who these people are, so I'm just asking. Let's no. talk about how we build this before we get all worked up about it. Um, it's a minimum of so many hours per month, the percent that this employee has to work in the other district to be qualified for this. I have to work at least 20% of, so of the 40 hours. We don't week. take my salary and you pay 46% of it. You pay for roughly 20% of it for the hours that I work in your district. Okay. So if they were paying, if I was making overtime, which I don't, but if I did, you wouldn't probably be, bill, be being billed for the overtime. 